Recurring decimals. Converting recurring decimals to fractions. Let's start with 0.72 recurring. With a 72 recurring. So it's 0.727272, etc. We start by saying that x equals 0.72 recurring. We times it by 10 to get 7.2727277. Now the way this method works, we need to have the same decimal, and here we've got 7272 and 2727, which aren't quite the same. So we times by 10 again, and we get 72.727272. Notice now that both x and 100x have the same decimal repeating, 727272. So what we do is we subtract the x from the 100x, and the decimal vanishes. 100x minus x is 99x, 72.727272, take away nothing, point 0.727272, is 72. Dividing by 99, we get x equals 72 over 99, which cancels down to 8 elevenths. Next, we're going to look at 0 0.35 recurring, where it's just the 5 that's recurring. If we start off with x equals 0 0.35 recurring, times it by 10, we get 10x equals 3.5. 5 recurring. And looking at these two terms, they have different decimals. One has a 3, one doesn't. Times by 10 again, 100x equals 35.5 recurring. And now notice that both 10x and 100x have the same decimal. 5555555. So we subtract 10x from 100x, we get 90x. And 35.5555, take away 3.5555, is 32. Dividing 32 by 90, we get x is 16 45ths. Finally, we're going to look at 0 0.2, 183, 183, 183, 183. So we call that x times by 10, get 2.183, 183, 183. But it's different, because the first one had a 2 in it. So we times it by 10 again, and we get 21.831, 831, 831, which isn't the same. Times by 10. Get 218.318.318.318. None of our decimals are the same yet. Times by 10. 10,000x equals 2,183.183.183.183. 183, and notice at last that 10x and 10,000x have the same decimal. 183, 183, 183. So we subtract. We get 9,990x. And 2183. Uh, point 183, 183, 183. Take away 2.183183183 is 2,181. Dividing 2,181 by 9,990, we get that, which cancels down to 727 over 3,330. Whew!